What is this on the side of my bath? It appears to be a rather cute pink bath ballistic. I wonder where I could have that, got that from. Any ideas, anybody? <laughs> so yes, I may have been to Lush. Um, this is one of their new Halloweeny bath ballistics. Please excuse the extremely pink sides of my bath. It's from my purple hair dye. But this is their new bath ballistic. He is called Little Monster, I think. Where did I put the label? Lost the label. No, he's not called Little Monster. He is called Monster's Ball Bath Ballistic. And as you can see, here is my hand. He is very pink and very cute. He's got blue kind of ears, kind of sparkly, and the eye is actually chocolate. So that should be interesting in the bath. I thought I would make a little video just to show you what happens when you put this little monster in the bath and to tell you a little bit about what's in him if I can unscrumple the label, which I very, very cleverly did this to. <laughs> which was possibly not the most sensible of ideas when I need the ingredients. So, in this little bath ballistic we have, among other things, I'm not reading the whole label, I'll be here all evening. So, we have Himalayan rock salt, we have lime oil, neroli oil, um, oil banum oil, I'm not sure how you pronounce that particular one. Um, he smells, what does he smell of? Let me have a sniff. Ooh. Mm, definitely smells citrusy, you can smell the lime oil in there. If you're wondering why I'm not in this video, I currently have face mask all over my face. I've been using the Otafix face mask, it's the first time I've used it, but I don't think you really want to see that. Um, I'll let you know how I get on with it in another video later on. So, having told you what is in this little fella, let's pop him in the bath and see what happens. I think he's quite excited. Okay, so, I'm quite gentle with my bath ballistics. There we are, as you can see, it's going quite nice and pink and blue. Matches my very fetching bath plug. Thank you, hair dye. <laughs> so yeah, just watching him fizz about. It's quite cool. And yeah, this is my first video of some of the things from Lush. I absolutely love these guys. They do loads and loads of vegan things, which makes me really happy. Um, hopefully going to be doing a lot more videos for them in the future. It's my hand again. Um, just awaiting on an arrival of things from Lush to do with their Halloween range. I'm a bit obsessed with Halloween, so that's why I have to have all the Halloween things. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's quite pretty in the bath. There's a certain purpley aspect going on, which I quite like. Give him a little swish. Oh, there, did you see the eye? Come back. You can kind of see his eye occasionally as he's swirling. Where is it? There we are. But yeah, great fun to play with, because <laughs> I'm a big child. <laughs> but yeah, that's my first little bath bomb video. So we're gonna have lots of pink and blue foam, lots of purple. I think the water's probably gonna be a pinky purple by the time he's finished. I probably won't phone, phone, film rather, the um, entire fizzing procedure, because we could be here for some time and I'm not sure how exciting this is for you guys to watch, but. Yeah, I think it looks quite pretty, personally. It could almost be kind of an abstract painting. But uh, yeah, that's my first little Lush video. Hopefully lots more to come. If you liked this, bad hand, not the hand, the video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you wish to subscribe, please do so. You know where to click. Thanks, guys. See you soon.